NIET has worked with teacher preparation programs across the country to strengthen their connections with school districts and better prepare and support new teachers. An additional focus of this work is finding ways to increase the number of well-prepared new teachers who choose to teach high-need student populations and do so effectively. I was introduced to the TAP rubric um, my junior year and then after we learned the content we learned how to teach that content using the rubric. We went through each indicator, they modeled how this would look for a proficient teacher. I just felt so prepared. I knew how to prepare my lessons. I knew um, how to present the lessons um, and hit the, the content that I needed to, hit all the areas of the TAP, and, uh, tap rubric. So I felt like my first year of teaching was really my second year. It was like a seamless transition, really. I find myself not necessarily looking at the rubric or staring at it, um, but I find myself doing things that were on the rubric. It kind of became second nature. Hitting those indicators is now just kind of a part of my practice, really. A couple of my friends went to a different school where they only had about six weeks of student teaching, and just having those conversations with them of how they felt their first year, it was just, you know, like night and day. I was prepared, I was confident in what I was doing and I felt like they were kind of treading water their first year. We have looked at our courses and aligned how our signature assignments really tie into different areas of the instructional rubric and how we reinforce that through focusing on one area. So for example, the reading course has a um, specific area of looking at presenting instructional content where students video themselves and they really emphasize what does it look like to be modeling? What does it look like to segment a lesson? What does it look like to have visuals? And really looking at the descriptors in depth so that they have a deeper understanding. So I think we take what the teacher candidates are doing, um, the application piece of that in their student teaching, and we really embed it. Whereas if you just supervise a teacher candidate, you um, review what they did well in their terms of their refinement and reinforcement, and you don't have an opportunity to embed that in the coursework. So I have the luxury of being not only their evaluator, but also their instructor, so that they can take what they're doing in their placement, the application piece, and bring it back to the coursework and refine it based on the feedback that I've given them. We really highlight that this is not just an evaluative tool, it's also best practice, and it will strengthen their ability to be good, solid teachers um, with a foundation of instructional delivery.